I'm a regular Roblox user, spouting over the game's page to find one that catches my eye, although I have a hard time since usually there are none that interest me any more like they did in the past. What had happened to me started with a rumor by Redacted. They narrated that a suspicious user called, Captain, roamed the Roblox servers at random times ranging from 5pm to 1am. He would friend random users he encountered and ask them to join his game, and would develop into a rage the more time the friended user spent on other activities on Roblox. If the user did visit Captain's place, in their site would usually be a red house far away from their spawn location. It was said that most users would feel forced to enter the house, and upon doing so the house would catch fire, leading to the user's character being deleted, and their account would suddenly vanish. In rare circumstances, Captain's place would consist of something different, sometimes even related to an unusual topic he would sometimes discuss about to the user if they were to say something to him in the website chat. Some accounts describe the randomly generated features of his place to be quite disturbing and somewhat even related to the users themselves. I didn't believe this because I depended on my common sense to what said that all myths and rumors are fake. I got home after a long and boring Friday at school and logged on to Roblox. I was relieved to have reached the weekend. I decided to play Death Run as it was one of my longtime favorite games. However, as soon as I clicked the play button, I saw in the corner of my eye that I had a friend request. I usually ignored these as many of these are kids trying to get attention and look cool by having a lot of friends by randomly sending a request and never doing anything with you once you accept it. The grey screen on the Roblox blind vanished and my character appeared in the lobby. I played for some good few minutes until I got bored and quit the game. I decided to go to the friend page and typically ignore the person's request. As soon as my browser loaded, I couldn't believe who sent it, the user was Captain. I ignored it in a panic because I didn't want to suffer the consequences of the previous users that were foolish enough to accept it. To my surprise, the ignore button didn't do anything. I repeatedly clicked on it, but to no avail, it still didn't work. I just decided to leave it in the end. Eventually after about 3 hours the request icon turned red. I was confused since this of course didn't happen before, but I shook it off as a Roblox update. All of a sudden, I got an urge to accept it and so I did. His user appeared in the chat box and he messaged me immediately with the typical dialogue of a regular Roblox user. Captain. Hi Redacted. Me. Who are you? Captain. I just want a friend. Me. I don't play with unknown users, leave me alone you creep. Captain. Please. I grew tired almost instantly of chatting with him and went to play some games. After about another hour of place jumping, I came back to see this. Captain. Come to my place. Idiot. I will make you vanish. Now. I ignored him. He was talking like an obnoxious five year old. I logged off of Roblox for the day. When I woke up the next morning I logged back on and saw that Captain's chat box was red. This, I had also never seen before, how could a user's chat box turn red? I got disturbed, and I grew more cautious while playing Roblox games. Eventually, my curiosity had forced me into joining this disgusting creature of a user's game. His game was titled, For User, and just looking at it gave me goosebumps on my arm. It had no description. I joined the game and my character spawned on a grey path with white fog surrounding it. I did what any gamer would do and followed the path. On the grass there were lots of white pillars surrounding my character. What had been annoying me as soon as I joined was that there was some sort of deep whispering or breathing noise that would loop every time it played. As I walked on, the pillars started to get more and more distorted, cracked and broken. There was a message in black text on the ground that said, Aquamuck, which to this day I still don't know what it means. I kept on going until I came across some more red text, but this time it was in Morse code, which I wasn't able to translate since I had never studied it before, only heard of it. I looked up and saw the rather disturbing feature that the previous users had accounted. There were multiple wooden pikes that stuck out of the ground, and my character was impaled on them. I was disgusted and horrified, even though it was just virtual. I immediately went to the X button on the client, but it didn't work. Nor did Alt plus F4 or even Task Manager. I tried to turn off my computer, and even that didn't work. The only deciphered option left was to completely unplug my computer, and it finally shut off. I breathed a sigh of relief and sat down in my chair. Luckily, I had an old laptop that also had Roblox on it, so I grabbed it and logged on. 
my accounts had vanished, which meant that the rumor was actually true. I logged onto an alternate account and searched up Captain again, but he had also vanished. I was confused and scared, so I decided to contact Roblox support in efforts to recover my account. A few days later they had returned the email and I got my main account back, so I logged into it and Captain had been removed from my friends list. It was a relief to have finally gotten the situation over with. I saw in the tab I got a message, and it was from Captain. There was one half of my mind telling me to view it, and the other telling the opposite. I decided to view it, and the message said. I'm coming for you. I brushed it off, since you can't find a Roblox user's address just by looking through their account. Anyways, I played some more Roblox games, and nothing's happened for a few days now. I made it clear that Captain doesn't like attention or even being mentioned, but the reason I'm writing this is because I want to tell you that Captain is real. I just heard something outside, I'll be right back. Police investigation report. Name, Jackson Wine. Date of birth, redacted. The 15-year-old was found dead in a bush outside his home at approximately 10 p.m. yesterday. Recorded markings are multiple lacerations around the neck and arms including bruises around the torso and forehead, meaning the subject was most likely beaten and drained of blood. The killer was never caught, and these murders have been ongoing since late 2019. Further investigation will commence shortly.